Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'll show you all the possible ways to reboot, factory reset, show you guys how to exit the time only mode and at the end I'll show you guys the secret recovery mode for the fossil gen 5. So let's get started. If you are someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular videos for various smartwatches like this one, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. Also check out our playlist tab as we have dedicated playlist for fossil, Huawei, Samsung and Fitbit smartwatches where you'll find more detailed videos like this one so be sure to check them out. Alright, let me start by briefly introducing you to certain terms like soft reset, reboot, shutdown, restart. Basically all these terms means the same and that is turning your device off and on. Sometimes it's also referenced as power cycling which is ideally used for modems and routers but it technically means the same. So let me start by showing you how to do all of these for your Fossil Gen 5. Everything that I'll show you guys in this video may also work for most of the Wear OS devices. So if you have a Wear OS device and any of these tips work for you, please comment down below on this video so other people can know that as well. There are certain instances where you may need to reboot your Fossil Gen 5 if it is slow, sluggish, glitchy, or you just want to turn it off to save some battery life when not in use. There are a few ways to do this and the easiest way to do it is go in the menu by clicking this crown button and find the settings. You can also find settings from the top drop down menu on, on the main screen. Now go in the system where you will find the option to restart and power off. Clicking either or will prompt you to confirm the action. Basically when you select restart your watch will turn off and after a few seconds it will turn back on by itself and if you were to select power off your watch will just shut down and then you have to manually turn it on by pressing this middle crown button right here. Doing either or will refresh your watch and this process is also referenced as soft reset or a reboot. Now there is an alternate way to do this without going into the setting. So all you have to do is click and hold the middle crown button until you feel a haptic vibration at which point you will get a pop up like this to either restart or power off your watch. Now once you click on any of this option you won't be prompted to confirm as it did in the first place in the settings it will just execute the task. What I have personally found is this way works the best if you have an unresponsive app or a frozen screen as just doing this will take you out of that frozen app or a blank screen and you can just click the restart to clear off that glitch. So if you ever get stuck in an unresponsive app or a blank screen, don't just panic and format or reset your watch. Try this trick first as it may help. Now, since we are here, let me show you what to do if you are in the time only mode as some of you, uh, the subscribers and viewers have commented about how to do it. So let's first go in the time only mode. I have done a separate video for all these battery enhancement modes especially offered by the Fossil Gen 5 which is just awesome and it is linked up here in case if you guys have to check it out once you're done watching this one. So once you are in the time only mode, no matter how hard you try, you will not be able to get out of this mode as you can see nothing works, uh, not even the buttons or the touch screen. And the only way you can get out of this time mode is by long pressing the middle crown button until you feel a haptic feedback and then the watch will automatically uh, shut down and restart by itself and get you out of the time only mode. Now let's talk about some other terms like the hard reset, format, factory reset, factory restore, restore to factory settings. All this basically means that simply format the device. Sometimes it's also referred as flashing the device. Now you probably want to format your Fossil Gen 5 in scenarios like if you were to sell your watch or give it away to someone. Before you do that, you want to make sure that you delete all the data before handing over your watch. 
or sometimes you just want to restore your watch to the original factory settings because the watch is just slow or it's sluggish. Moreover, this is also recommended in extreme situations where your watch is glitchy, some apps are not working at all, or you want to delete all the data in the uh, watch like the apps, uh, images, music, etc. Now, to do that, let's go back in the menu by clicking the middle crown button, find the settings, click on the system, where you'll find an option to disconnect and reset. If you click yes when prompted, your watch will just turn off and it may take few minutes but basically everything will be just erased from your watch like all the contacts, call logs, music, fitness data, images, apps, games and all. I'm not going to do it now as I don't want to format my watch yet but just so you, know, you guys know, once your watch starts up, it will be just like when the watch came out of the box for the first time so you have to reconnect and set it up as a new device. Now let's say for instance uh, the screen is unresponsive and you tried to reboot as discussed earlier during this video and nothing works and you are left with no other option then you can try to enter the recovery mode. Now recovery mode is in my opinion not something you guys should play around with. To enter the recovery mode, all you have to do is just press this middle and the bottom button together until you feel a haptic vibration, at which point just stop pressing the buttons and you will enter the awesome recovery mode. Now I'll give you guys a caution and a disclaimer. I will highly recommend to not enter this mode and play around as it's an uncharted territory and you can damage your watch. So now I will try my best to show you how to navigate through various modes and how to exit this recovery mode. Basically, you can sh uh, short press the middle power button to select between different modes and long press this middle power key to select which mode um, to enter. So the first screen that will appear will be the start screen after which comes the shipping mode then comes the reboot boot loader and then comes the recovery mode at the end it will be the power off mode now under each mode you can see details like uh, the fast boot mode which is basically what we are in right now then it's the product name which says trigger fish which i think is the name of the boot loader as the boot loader version says uh, trigger fish with the version number there is uh, the base band version which is empty, then it's the serial number, secure boot which is disabled for your information. You cannot enable this mode as I have tried it but I didn't find any way to enable it. And lastly it's the device status which is locked and I don't know how to unlock it um, as I have tried everything and my watch is not also an LTE watch. All right. Now let's talk about various modes. So the start mode is basically the start of the boot loader. Now if you were to long press the middle button on this mode, the watch will basically uh, start. Next mode is the shipping mode. Now I personally don't know what this mode is for. But if I were to long press this button, uh, the watch will just turn off and get back onto the start screen of this bootloader with an error prompted for about a millisecond. I was able to capture it and it basically says PGP fail or time out with the LED 1 which is 71, LED 2 121 and IR 292. I don't know what this means but if anyone knows about it please comment down below uh, in this video. My guess is that it's the RGB uh, number for both the LED 1 and 2. Now the next mode is the reboot boot loader. Basically bootloader is the BIOS mode you can find on the windows so reboot bootloader means you basically restart this bootloader. I'm not going to do that uh, but you can do it by long pressing this button if you do that you will uh, the watch will start up and you'll come back to this particular bootloader screen. 
Next is the recovery mode. Now I personally tried to enter this mode multiple times but I was unsuccessful uh, with this particular error of no command. I'm guessing it's because either the secure boot is disabled or the device status is locked, which I don't know how to change it. But if any one of you were successful, please comment down below what was the outcome and as it will be very helpful. In case if you get an error like what I did, the no command one, don't just panic um, as once you enter the no command screen, there is nothing you can do to get out of it. Uh, no matter how hard you try, whichever button you press, you won't be able to exit. But all you have to do to exit that non, non, no command screen is just press the middle crown and the bottom button together as we did in the first place to enter this particular mode. And you will again feel a haptic vibration and you will enter the bootloader again. The last mode is the power off mode where if you long press the middle button, the watch will basically power down and once uh, it's powered down to power on, you have to press the middle um, button again and it'll just start again. So I hope this was helpful and now at least you know what to do if you were stuck anywhere on the watch for any reason like a faulty glitchy app or if the screen is just frozen or stuck or just blackout. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. It really means a lot. And please make sure to subscribe. It will be massively appreciated as I'll be posting more videos for various smartwatches, including Fossil Gen 5. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.